to tell you a little fish story. I grew up in the 1950s and 60s fishing yellow perch in Lake Michigan. It was a vibrant fishery then, supported a strong commercial fishery. What I didn't realize is I was witnessing a population dynamic that would be a large part of my profession as an adult. Yellow perch in Lake Michigan had always had some little ups and downs, but in the 60s the population hit a major crash. The population did rebound, but in the mid 80s began another population crash. Numbers declined greatly, some missing year classes in there. So what's causing it? Some forward thinking biologists modeled the population changes in Lake Michigan from 1986 to the early 2000s. And it turned out that population model, using the best estimates of mortality and growth, reproduction, those population models almost perfectly predicted the population fluctuations that went on from the mid-80s all the way to about 2002. Commercial fishing was a large source of mortality, but that was taken out of the equation when the commercial fisheries were closed in the late 1990s. Recreational fishing? Could recreational fishing harvest in a lake that big on a population that prolific actually suppress the population? Well, the models suggest that they did, especially on a harvest fishery. When they get to be a harvestable size, they're harvested, so they're removed. In the case of yellow perch, the female grows faster than the male, so they get to harvestable size first. The fishery is not only size selective, it's gender selective and taking the females out of the population greatly affects reproduction. So the information learned from this analysis can be used to better manage yellow perch into the future. But if we make the connection to the other species that also have the gender-specific growth rates, we may be able to use this information to manage sauger, walleye, striped bass, and possibly other fishes better in the future.